How's it going guys? I'm your host Carbon Gaming. Welcome back to the next episode of the Let's Play Mac Quest series. And today's video we are going to be going on uh to the next part of the Gark slash uh, Lago saga. Okay, so I actually did a little bit of exploring off camera and remember how I was talking about that insane EXP and gold game from the Kraken? Yeah, apparently that was a one-time thing. You cannot go back and replay that fight. You can replay the fight with the Kraken, but it does not give the same amount of exp and go so unfortunately it's not something that you can abuse uh to gain exp and level up really quickly so yeah that's a bit unfortunate but it's okay so because i already completed uh the first part of the exploration i can skip straight away here uh to close nook without having to go through the uh entire sea exploration all over again right so this one uh you can see here they use these are special type of weapons, okay, so they actually use cannons, okay, and cannons can be loaded with cannonballs for a variety of attacks. They level up with you up to a maximum level of first ever levelable weapons, and mugging guns allow you to take gold from your opponent. So it's a very interesting concept, and I don't think uh, these type of weapons were ever seen inside the game ever again after this point. So yeah, I quite like that. These are some of the Nova Gem Mechas, okay, uh, the pirate uh navigator mechas okay all of these cost nova gems only the most expensive one oh all of them cost 1000 okay so yeah obviously get the highest level one if you are will in this game or if you want to try it out but uh i'm not going to do that because i don't have any nova gems do people still spend money on this game i don't know man but yeah cannons let's look at it we have Ooh, are these all no some are star captain some are not okay weapon of skill to a level when equipped this one scales up to level 40 uh, this one scales up to level 45 so it doesn't go all the way to the max level because this is quite an old area of the game so it has not exactly been updated no wait the mech goes up to level 50 but for some reason the weapon doesn't so yeah and you can click the weapon in battle to switch ammo types very interesting okay so let's look at the different types of ammo that we have uh there's level 100 one candy bag interesting there's flash cannonball okay uh blinding effect this one has burning cannonball is a burning effect and cast iron cannonball this one has an improved chance to deliver critical damage Ooh, chocolate roll choco bar what's all this for hmm i don't get it yeah i don't really understand okay so you can buy them in one tens and fifties and then yeah 50 is the max okay so you can have up to 50 shots inside of this weapon i don't know if they stack or what but uh personally i do feel that this is a way uh for you to spend more credit so over time the weapon is obviously going to be more expensive than your other weapons simply because you have to buy ammo types with it if you choose to stick with this weapon these are by no means the best weapons in the game i do wish that they were a little bit stronger because of the fact that you have to keep replenishing the ammo to use it but uh of course this is just my opinion and this game is not going to get any more updates so uh my thoughts are going to just remain as thoughts okay so what is this exactly oh mods oh interesting very interesting and we have front arms as well oh okay still go from your opponent oh this one is nova gems but it's only 39 nova gems quite interesting okay so a pretty cheap weapon that can still go from your opponent i guess this could be good for go farming but uh, I don't really think you need to go farm too hard in this game. Most of the stuff, even the level 50 stuff, if you just play from level 1 all the way up to level 50, you should have more than enough gold to buy whatever you need. Okay, uh, let's see. What else do we have? Submarines. Pirate ship upgrade. If you have a submarine, you can dive for treasure in the ocean of Lagos. Yellow ducky submarine. Oh, this one costs 200,000 credits. Yeah, so there's a mini game whereby you can click on the uh, submarine button at the bottom the part where you explore the ocean there's a mini game if you buy the submarine and unfortunately it's for star captains only so yeah i'm unable to showcase that to you guys i haven't really seen it uh how it works before i don't know if there's any videos on it but yeah i've never seen that uh, mini game before so i guess we'll never find out what it is Okay, so our next part of the quest will be here, Tetra. Hello stranger, you're not a pirate, are you? Perhaps you should change into something a little more piratey. <laughs> pirate uniform. Okay, let's see what we have here then. Am I a pirate now? Okay. 
Nice. I'm not sure if this gives a bonus to stat rolls or not. Also, uh, I did sell off some of my other weapons off camera. Oh. Oh god. Oh god. Did I glitch out the game? Oh man, you are kidding me. You are freaking kidding me. Did I just glitch out the game? Oh, come on. Okay, give me a moment guys. I'll be right back. So yeah, this game is full of bugs, unfortunately. Uh, uh, teleported to hometown that solved the problem. Hello, Shane. Okay, uh, so Robina. I can tell you aren't from, I can tell you aren't from around here. Let me guess, an Arturian agent searching for Robina? Well, if you are, I wish you luck. Kidnapping the princess was probably the worst thing that ever happened to us. Ever since the dread pirate Rubab disappeared, Captain Barbarossa has taken control. Now he's brought down the wrath of the entire Arturian navy down upon us. They're pirates, not soldiers. If an all-out war breaks out, I'm afraid of the consequences. Maybe if you can find Robina, then we can avoid unnecessary bloodshed. She's most likely being held at Barracuda Reef, a treacherous maze of shallow reefs. There's an island in the middle of Barracuda Reef where Barbarossa likes to hide treasure. It's the most likely place you hold Princess Robina captive. You should go there now and search for her. Let's go. Barracuda Reef. Oh, okay. Up, down, left, right to move your ship. So I assume you want to avoid those black ships. Keys found. Uh, I don't have to battle them, do I? I have no idea how this works. I assume you don't need to battle them. What's this? Exploring island. Oh, okay. Oh, this is how you find it. Okay, so nice. A little mini game. And for some weird reason, uh, my sugar blaster is on permanent cooldown. Yeah. Very weird. Okay. So, uh, exploring some of the shops there or equipping some of the items there. I think glitched out my game in more than one way. So apart from your character not being able to move, apparently it forced one of my shoulder weapons to be done permanently. It should go away after the end of the battle, right? I don't know, do I have to re-equip the weapon or something? Oh, okay. So it went away after one battle, that's good. Don't know what happened there. But yeah, uh, just one of the many many bugs and glitches this game has. No big deal though. Haunted, your feelings were hurt. Okay, this is definitely one of the funnier parts uh, with regards to weapons. Oh, come on, 1 HP, really? Push this off. Okay. Oh, oh, that's the cave. Okay. Good thing we equipped our energy blade first. I was not expecting an energy blade fight, but I'm glad we did. Uh, equip the energy blade. Okay, so where is this key I'm supposed to be looking for? I suppose it's another stupid grind where I have to find like 10 keys or something stupid like that. I don't know. Okay, nothing in the cave. That's weird. Or maybe it's the other side. Wait, hold up. Down? Oh, okay. I guess I just went the wrong way. Yeah, okay, there it is. The, I assume it's in the treasure chest. Nice, easy. Lock picking. Click on the glyphs in the right order and release all five tumblers. Be careful, if you click the wrong glyph, it will reset the puzzle. Be fast, you have to find the right combination and release all five tumblers before the time is up or else it resets the lock. Okay, let's try. Wait. Okay, so bottle, ship, bottle, ship, skull, bottle, ship, bottle, bottle, ship, bottle, sword, skull, bottle, ship, bottle, sword, bottle. Okay, nice. We got it. Nice. We found a key. Okay, so after all that, we found one key. How many keys are you supposed to find? They didn't tell me. Huh. So yeah, another stupid grind for the story, but this one... Oh, okay. The map isn't as big, though. It does seem like one big giant maze. Oh, okay. Is this unavoidable? Yeah, okay. This is unavoidable. Okay. okay Let's drain their H their EP, sorry. Okay, hit trauma, disabled hit weapon. Oh that's interesting. Okay, 
is nice. And let's continue onwards. Let's go in here. Let's see what we have in here. Uh, oh, there's another island there, but I need to take out this sh another ship first. We are also super close to leveling up. Though, I can't even see how much EXP I'm gaining here. So, honestly, I don't know how far away it is. Does it actually say here? Yeah, it actually says here. Okay, so about 600 more HP to go. Not a lot. That's good. 600 more EXP to go. Sorry, why did I say HP? Brain fart. Okay, 47. I think we should be able to level up before the end of this episode. Okay, so I assume this is... You have to go one big circle to get in here, right? Yep. Oh, giant rock blocking the way. Okay. There's another ship here. Yeah, they force you to go into battles. Damage nerfed the percent. Ah, that's not good. There's a punch. Oh, oh, okay. That did quite a bunch of damage. So got your EP, make sure you don't get to use your weapons too much. Nice one, miss. Uh, I think he should be out of EP next turn. Will he? Nope. Sugar Overloader. Okay, still has enough EP we can to keep him dead. But, uh, he's still dead anyways. Next up, let's continue moving here. Okay, nice. Exploring island. Oh, is it just energy fights for this one? I prefer energy fights. They are a lot shorter, in my opinion. Okay, another one. Pirate guard. I do quite like the design on the armor and the general look though. I think it looks really cool with the laser sword and all that. Yeah, the armor is really well designed in my opinion. Let's head down here. Assume it's probably in the same place. Let's see. Please tell me it's in the same place. Oh, okay. This cave is a little different. Yeah, okay, I guess that makes sense that this is a bigger cave since there are no mech battles. There we go. Nice, so I was on the right way the whole time. Excellent. Okay, done. Let's get the key. Once again, sword, sword skull, sword boat, sword. Sword boat, sword bottle, skull, sword boat, sword bottle, bottle, sword boat, sword bottle, sword. Nice. Found another key. Alright, excellent. Keys found two. Okay, what's next? How many keys are there on the map? They never really did tell me, did they? Okay, let's go here. I see any more islands that I can explore? Nope. Wait, what's this over here? Oh! Is that cartoon? Wait, do I need a submarine for that? I have a feeling I might need a submarine for that, but we'll just head over there and give it a shot. Let's just go there and see if we can actually get it to trigger or something like that. Okay. Target lock on. Uh, that's not good. Uh, birthday gift again. Alright. He uses one attack and he's out of evil. Oh, okay, he's already, he already doesn't have enough. That's good. Turner explosions. Okay, let's see here. Oh! Oh, okay! Oh, it's underwater this time. Hmm, that's interesting. Here we have the crazy kraken. Oh, by the way, when I went to explore just now, just so you guys know, this stupid in ink attack, he has no cooldown. So yeah, he can keep doing the ink attack and basically stun lock you the entire battle if it wants to. Just saying. So, a uh, little bit of RNG here, but chances are you probably won't get hit too many times. Uh, at least till he runs out of MP. You should have enough HP to survive until then, because this uh, is quite under level. Okay, so it should still be easy. Nice, there's the chest. Sword. Okay. 
ship bottle, ship skull, ship sword, ship sword bottle, skull, ship sword bottle, ship, ship sword bottle, bottle, ship sword, ship sword bottle, skull, ship sword bottle, ship, ship sword bottle, sword, ship. Sword, bottle, sword, bottle. Wow, that was super close. Oh my god. Huh. <laughs> super duper close. Nice. What happens if you fail though? I'm a little curious though. I don't really want to find out. Okay, dead end here. What's the point of this ship here anyway? What's the point of this ship? Uh, we're just going to go here. I have a feeling there might be something there that we have explored. So I'm just going to head here. Anchored to the ground. Oh, wow, okay. Ooh. Jellyfish drop on us. Okay. Alright, so... We have found... This is... We have found three keys already. I don't know how many keys there are. I'm feeling it might be ten. Or maybe five? I don't know. I feel like it'll be an uh, uh, easy number to remember or an easy number to track. I don't think it's something like 20 or something like that because this place, honestly, I don't think it's that big. Uh, it shouldn't have anything more. Than... Come on, three. Please tell me three is the max. How many are there? Let's go here. Hmm. Not seeing any more islands. Come on, where are the islands? What's this? Oh! Oh! Is this the main base? Or something? Nice. Please tell me three keys are enough. Uh, did I miss out on the dialogue just now? But I'm pretty sure they didn't tell you how many keys you need, right? Either that or I missed out on the dialogue. I don't know. I really don't know. Okay. Shredder. Nice, let's just finish this guy off. Sugar Blaster. Okay. All four keys. And with a bunch of weird numbers, I suppose those are coordinates or something. Okay, so we need four keys. We found three out of the four. Okay, so it's not that bad, actually. Right, three out of four keys. Now for the last one. Where is the last key? Oh, okay. Thought we got magically stuck or something. Okay, you need to fight this guy. You can't shoot your way past him. Wait, I'm not sure. I don't know if there's a map or something on the forums, but uh, we'll try and do this without, without a map, okay? Unless it's going to take too long. Okay, I'll try and complete this part minimum before we end the video. I'm not going to speed up or I'm not going to cut away this part because this is a little different from your standard grinding. So yeah, I guess we can explore the process together. I think this is the edge of the map already, right? Oh, a red one. Is this the boss or something? Maybe this guy is the last key. Interesting that the ship is red instead. Oh, okay. Wow, well, this, this guy means business. Okay. Yeah, this guy means business. Have to play a little bit more carefully. Okay, at least he won't have enough EP the next round. Oh, okay. Next round for him. Nice. Yes, this is the last one. Bottle. Bottle sword. Bottle sword. Bottle sword. Bottle sword. Bottle ship. Scout. Nice. Alright. There we are, the last key. Alright. Okay, that didn't really take too long. It's quite interesting. First one was on an island. Then we have one, uh, an island of mech, or full of mech enemies. And then we have another one on an island full of uh, laser sword enemies. We have one from a boss fight. Uh, sort of a boss fight. Uh, one on a ship. And then there's one in the bottom of the ocean. I think it's quite... Uh, how do you call that? It's quite creative how they hit the four keys, so can definitely appreciate that. We're going to take this route. I think it's a shortcut. Hopefully it'll lead us there. I don't know if this one will lead us there or not, but I think if you get past this guy, it's a shorter way, right? I don't know. <clears throat> yep, 
Yes, yes, you do that. And not Let's finish it off. Yep, it is a shortcut. Nice. Okay, wait. What? You are kidding me. Okay, it is not a shortcut. Wait, hold on. You can't get past here. Come on. What the heck? There's clear the gap is clearly big enough. Uh Well Let's go the long way. So it wasn't a shortcut after all. Wait, is it here or there? Oh we can go from here to avoid that that one enemy there. Okay. There we are. So another sort of like a boss. Okay, the buffs and debuffs from this guy are pretty big. Stealing 40 of my defense and giving himself 50 defense. That's pretty huge. Ah uh, yeah, of course. The defense kicks in now. We got lucky the first time. Uh hopefully we can maintain the same amount of luck this time. Okay, the hits did land. So oh, minus 40 to hit as well. Oh that can't be good. Okay, yeah, this is pretty bad. And he has the defense 50. Okay, we still managed to land one hit, so that's good. Feeling we might miss this. Oh no, okay. Nice. Yes, luck is on my side today. Very, very nice. So let's heal up first. I don't know what to expect. Another one. Okay, how many enemies are there here? Disable back shoulder weapon. Wow. Okay. Lock on. That can be good. Oh wait. That doesn't do any damage. Oh okay. Nice. So still at full HP. I'll just continue exploring. Anchor man. Please don't use your anchor attack. Come on. Oh, okay, he didn't stun me this time, so that's good. Uh, attack accuracy lowered. Uh, lowered. That's not good. He resisted the stun. Okay. okay, we'll keep continuing. We can still go for another round. This mecha is ridiculous, like guys, like you can just keep healing your HP and your EP with the skills and basically just go on and on. Nice. Okay, so we heal our HP there and then we can heal our EP with the front weapon. The front arm weapon. Nice. And finish it. Nice. And level up. So that's a free heal, right? No! Okay, leveling up in mech quest doesn't give you a free heal, guys. Huh. It does in Dragon Fable and Adventure Quest. Maybe some of the engine changes screwed it up? I don't know, but... Oh, apparently leveling up in mech quest doesn't give you a free heal. Right. Okay. Hmm. I mean, it's been so long since I last leveled up on mech... A um, mech quest in the middle of a quest that doesn't give you a heal, so yeah, I wouldn't know. Huh, interesting. Was it always like this? Let me know down in the comments below. Has it always been like this, or is it just a certain thing because it's bugged or something? Okay, let's kill him. Coconut Shredder. Nice. This is the cave, right? Alright, so this should be where Princess Robina is. No? No? Oh, there you are. Nice. We get, to tr get through three of the guards to get to her. That should be pretty easy.
Nice. Ah, you must have been sent here by Robert. Your timing is impeccable. You arrived just as I was about to make my grand escape. Too bad I had a great plan. I can't leave this planet yet. We have a serious situation on our hands here on Lagos. Since the dis disappearance of the jet pirate Rubab, Captain Barbarossa has taken control of the pirates. Without Rubab's leadership, the pirates will be crushed when the Arthurian assault forces arrive. I realize this must sound confusing. This must sound confusing to you, since you just rescued me from the pirates. Not everything is exactly as it seems. Take me to my rendezvous ship. There we can discuss your future missions. Okay, so we, res we rescued Princess Robina from Barbarossa's crew. However, your work on Lagos is far from over. She has a new mission for you. Oh, of course she does. Uh, well... Okay, typo here. I was in prison. I heard Barbarossa's men say they rigged this entire reef with death charges. In the event that they were ambushed here, they could literally blow this entire area to smithereens. They will most likely have the charges set for a delayed explosion to give themselves time to escape. If I was Barbarossa, I would not hesitate to blow the reef to trap us here. We need to find a way out of here now. Let's go. Oh! Oh god. There's a time limit. Look for the path with least resistance. Yeah, of course I'll try to do that. This one has some resistance here. Uh, I assume the enemies respawned or something. Yeah, they respawned. How the heck am I supposed to know what is the path of least resistance? You didn't even give me a freaking mini map. And I don't exactly remember when was the last time we. Which path we came from? Oh god, this is bad. Yeah, this is really bad. Okay, I was not expecting this. Minus 70 to hit, that's even worse. Please tell me you can land our hits. Yes, nice. Yeah, one battle takes up a crap ton of time. And it's unfair because uh, it's entirely dependent on your weapon animation time. So if you have weapons with fast animation, then good for you. If you don't, then yeah, that sucks. Okay, this path has a lot of resistance. Not great, not great. Critical, are you kidding me? God, two battles and almost half our bar is gone. I have a feeling we might fail this time round. How am I supposed to know what's the path of least resistance? I can't even see the entire map. God damn it. And I literally cannot go anywhere without fighting something. Oh god. See? Least resistance? There's resistance everywhere. What, what are you talking about? Feeling this is the wrong path. Uh, I'm feeling this is the wrong path. Maybe we have to restart. Never mind. We'll just take this as a learning opportunity. Let's go ahead and explore. See what the right path is. Yeah, I definitely went the wrong way. I think. It's okay. We'll take our chance. We'll take this chance to explore the map. I guess. Uh, yep, this is the wrong path. Dead end. Need to go down? No. No idea where this leads to. <coughs> come on, come on, skip your turn, please. Thank you. Resisted the stun, damn it. Oh, another thing is that you don't get to heal here, so yeah, you definitely want a path of least resistance. Ah, here's another one. Okay, this is going to be close. Assuming this is the right way, this will be super close. Yeah, and you don't get a heal either. That really sucks. I mean, not that we need a heal, but it would be nice to have. Please tell me. Oh, we made it out. God. Just in time. Yes. There's a ship near this location that is waiting to rendezvous with me. Let's get going. Alright, nice. Okay, so here is the ship, I guess. Robina, the ship is in tip. 
is in top shape and she's all yours. Excellent. Have you found it yet? Not yet, but we think we know where it is. Alright, well, how about our defenses? Not so good. And... Ooh! Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Shadow Scythe Fleet or something? My original escape plan would have been better. Great, we are being ambushed. Time to take action. Let's look at the shops. Uh, these are locked. Nova Gem Shop. You know what? The weapon is... Uh, <laughs> the weapon. <laughs> the video. The video is 30 minutes long already. So uh, I don't know how many waves we have to do for this. But I'll go ahead and get through the waves off camera. And then we'll be back with the next episode. And I think we'll wrap up today's episode over here. Hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you have, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to this channel. If you guys would like to see more of such future content. Till the next time, I'm your host, Corban Gaming. Peace out.